hey guys welcome back to so love happy sunday to you it is may 28th i found something really cool i wanted to show you how i'm going to transform it into a garden bed so this was being thrown out it's an old foul cabinet um so put it in the back of my car and i'm gonna have one two three new beds um so the plan with this larger one is to grow possibly my sweet potatoes out of it um, i have some slips that are pretty much ready and then the smaller ones i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to plant in them yet um, but i'll keep you posted on what goes in those so my husband got me some black spray paint so it's time to start transforming Just gonna use some black spray paint from Walmart. As far as the inside goes, it'll mostly be covered with, I'm gonna use that garden fabric right there. And then it'll have, of course, the, I'm gonna fill it with leaves and soil. So I'm not gonna spray all the way to the bottom. Just gonna do about the top fourth, maybe. All right, uh, update, adding a second coat. Tips on spray painting is, to not get too close. You want to layer the spray paint. That way you're less likely to get those runoffs. Those kind of paint spills, blobs. So be patient with spray painting. Definitely spray in layers and don't get too close to prevent the overspray blobs. So it's going to start out looking a little patchy, but continue to layer, it gets better and better as you continue to layer up. Almost done with one can. So here's the difference, hopefully you can see that with one coat and then two coats. All right, looking pretty good. Starting to add a third coat. And then this might be the last coat. Go in and do a little bit of touch-ups. All right, there's the third coat. A little splotchy in some areas but I have like one in a can one and a half cans left and I want to go ahead and try to start on these drawers I can always come back and touch up later these do need a little bit of a wipe off then I'll go ahead and start spraying Thank you. 
All right, sprayed the second one. Now I'm starting on the third one. And this is my last can of spray paint. Alright, I am on my last can and I just want to go back and do some touch-ups to the larger one first before I run out. <laughs> Pretty much finish all three just doing some touch-ups to get rid of that little splotchy look. Now just touching up the drawers. All right, so I'm gonna let these sit here and dry, saving a little bit just in case I move them. When I move them, I make any scratches. But overall, I am pleased with how they look. Very, very cool. Now, one thing I did wanna mention, um, I know you're all probably wondering about, sorry, let's get in focus here. Okay, one thing I did want to mention is drainage. Um, these actually do have some holes along the side and the bottom um, for water to get out. And then along the corners, I am going to line these with garden fabric. But I figured these holes will suffice. Like there's some in the corners, actually in the actual metal. Um, so I figured drainage will be fine. Um, However, if that is one of your concerns, you can definitely drill some extra holes in the bottom. Um, this is the garden fabric I'm using. It was actually um, left here by the previous owner. It's a weed barrier. Um, so that's what I'm using. Um, and it is like you can, like water can seep through the fabric. So it's not gonna allow water to not escape from the bins. So I'm gonna just let these sit here and dry for uh, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Um, things do dry quicker on hot days and in the sun. So I'll check on them and then we'll be ready to move them in. All right, we are walking into the garden. I just wanna show you where I'm putting the drawers. So there's one of the drawers there. I put the shorter side up against the bed. Um, we'll see if that is a good idea or not. The idea or the theory is to hopefully um, add a little bit of height inside the bed. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try to clear off some of this um, 
mulch underneath and hopefully get it just as close as I can. Um, but we'll see. I'm not planning on adding any more dirt necessarily than the height, but we'll see how it goes. So there's one of the drawers. There's another drawer right there. You can see I've already lined them with the fabric that I showed you. And then the larger body um, or the shell is right over here in the corner. And this is where I'm planning on putting the sweet potatoes. Um, I was thinking about letting them be up there on that hill and I may still experiment with that. Just thinking about like all the vines sweet potatoes let off. Um, but I'm probably gonna build a trellis on this bed um, to allow the vines to grow up. Or I might just try to contain them inside the bed, just keep on pushing them inside the bed. Um, Cause another issue is I don't wanna block light from what's growing behind it with adding a trellis. So actually, problem solved. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna go ahead and just try to contain all of the slips or the vining that the sweet potatoes do inside of that shell. So what I'm gonna start doing is filling the shell or all of the extra beds with leaves. My husband's blowing right now, so. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I've been collecting leaves um, really uh, for the sake of these compost bins that I've installed back here. Um, but these are gonna come in handy right now for me filling um, my beds. All right, these are all oak leaves, or just for the most part oak leaves. And just wanted to show you how it's looking down here just discovered some ants so actually i'm going to get the pitchfork and start pulling uh, the leaves into the bin but trying to keep it in a moist area watering it you know if it gets too dry and just kind of letting them compost down over time so i'll fill these down here i'm going to add in some of my compost some more leaves i'll kind of do like a lasagna style method i'm not adding any logs um, just because logs do take a long time to compost down um, and really I have so many leaves I'm just going to rely on leaves uh, compost that I'm making then I'll top it off with some soil okay I'm in one of my compost bins and just wanted to show you some of the worm activity down there I've been adding in I've been adding in cardboard and food scraps it's actually a compostable bag um, but there's a lot of activity <laughs> down here which is a great sign just watering the leaves in I added some green waste right on top and I also just kind of stomp that down Get rid of some of those air pockets in there. I have a bucket of stuff from my compost bin. Some has actually composted down. Some has yet to be broken down. But I'm going to go ahead and add this as a layer. In here it also has... Glasses fell off. Also has quite a few worms. Worms in there worms are always a good thing actual watermelon take the fork move that around and i want this to be fairly deep just so that i don't encourage a uh, pest in the garden I'll go ahead and add some water in here And I'll add another layer of leaves. All right, there's that layer of leaves. So I took a little break and got some black cow and some compost manure from one of the big box stores. 
and I'm actually going to top it with this um, soil um, so just so you can see how the bed is looking I started topping it with that pro mix over there but I'm gonna save that for like some pots so this is what it's looking like right now and that's that lasagna um, leaves some actually food scraps a little bit of my compost very li little bit of that pro mix and then I'm gonna top it with the black cow and compost I have been watering it in and actually going in with my feet and stomping um, this is going to settle over time um, so the lay the level will go down a little bit but it'll be all right i'll add some more if i need to so that took about three bags well it took three bags of the compost manure and i added one bag of the black cow now i'm just watering everything in pretty much going to do the same thing with the other beds and i'm ready for sweet potato slips so I've already filled the drawers with leaves. There's one there, there's the other one there. I just watered these in. I'm gonna do the same thing, just kinda stomp it in a little bit. I have a bucket of some food scraps. This one has, um, this is also from my compost bin, but it also has some finished compost there's some worms in there so I'm gonna put half the bucket in one half the bucket in the other Let's go ahead and water that in this will help with breakdown of the soil encourage give the worms something to eat on they do however really love uh, leaves so Great start so far. Gonna add one black cow bag into each drawer. Go ahead and wire that in. Finishing it off with compost manure. Then we're just going to water it in. Very, very excited about that. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll keep you posted on how the bed goes and how things grow in the bed. But I'm very excited to have a new addition out here in the garden in terms of just more growing space. Uh, a gardener is always happy with that. So stay tuned for updates. And I'll post a video on how I'm planting my sweet potatoes. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye, you guys. Have a good day.